There are several different types of herbs that are grown in many greenhouse operations. Each different herb in each growing situation is unique. Grower tendencies are also unique and as well as environmental changes that take place going from a low light winter season to a high light, heavy dry down time of summer. So with all those challenges that a grower faces, there are different mixes that are required for those different times of year or those different situations. That's where Premier Tech Horticulture can help. We offer a full line of growing meat to help with those needs. If you are an herb grower and you grow herbs from seed in things such as plug trays or in open flats, there are several Promix products that can help. First one I, that would help out would be the Promix FPX. Promix FPX is a fine peat, fine perlite blend that's designed to have good drainage, but also fairly decent water retention. It has a little bit less water retention than say our Promix PGX, which we'll talk about next. So it's a good growing media to use during the low light winter months, so from winter to early spring. Uh, and it's also a good product to use for crops such as thyme and rosemary, which grow really slow from seed and are a lot easier to overwater and have root disease with. Second product I'd recommend would be the Promix PGX. Promix PGX is a fine peat, fine vermiculite growing media that has higher water retention, but still has decent drainage. So it's ideal because of the extra water retention, it's ideal for let's say late spring through summer growing production. Uh, and also with the vermiculite that's included in the growing media, it helps the root ball to hold together. So for instance, if you have a plug tray and you pull plugs out, the media will tend to stay together and not fall apart quite as easily. Now, if you're a certified organic uh, producer of herbs, the one I would recommend for seed germination would be the Promix PG Organic. It is a seed germination growing media consisting of fine peat, core fiber, and fine vermiculite. That's what this product is here. And this is an ideal product to use year round. And again, it's for certified organic growing. Now, if you're growing herbs in the greenhouse, and you're not necessarily starting them from seed, but you're growing them on either into pot production, such as these, or into uh, troughs or even grow bags, there's different products we'd recommend for those situations. The first one would be the Promix BX Mycorrhizae, which is this product. So it's a, basically a blend of peat moss, perlite, and vermiculite. It's not fine like the germination mixes are, so they tend to have better drainage, but still high water holding capacity. And Promix BX is ideal for year-round use with uh, production of herbs in basically pots, troughs, and in uh, grow bags. Now, Promix HP Mycorrhizae, which is uh, basically a blend of peat and perlite, is a high porosity growing media. It's a little bit different in that it has more perlite, which adds additional drainage, reduces water retention, so it makes it more ideal for use during, let's say, the winter months or the low light uh, times of year in the fall and in the spring when you get a lot of cloudy weather. So because the mix retains less water, it's not as easy to overwater. It also will help reduce some of the stress on the root system from overwatering. And it's really ideal for crops such as thyme and rosemary that don't like to stay wet. Now for the organic herb grower, we have the Promix MP. Promix MP is a combination of peat, core, and perlite similar to what we see in the Promix BX as far as physical properties. So again, it's ideal for year-round production of herbs and has good water retention. But what makes Promix unique over other growing media out there on the market? We offer active ingredients. Basically, the active ingredients are natural, non-genetically modified organisms that were extracted from the soil. The first one is mycorrhizae. Mycorrhizae is a vesicular, arbuscular, endomycorrhizal fungi called glomacinoraticides. It colonizes the herbs or the roots of herb plants, and once colonized, the fungi will grow up past the root system to bring in water and nutrients where the root system is not present. So therefore, it serves kind of like a root extension. And its colonization will take place throughout the entire uh, production cycle of that particular uh, herb crop. Now, the nice thing about having that increased acquisition of nutrients and water is that plants are less likely to show nutrient deficiency symptoms in case uh, fertilizer regime is not correct, and it also delay wilting as a result of lack of watering. And with that, so when you take the plant, let's say you're starting it in a plug environment or sealing situation, you transplant up to pots, troughs, or bags, there's a transplant stress that takes place like a transplant shock. With the mycorrhizal fungi, it will delay a lot of that, that shock or, or prevent it altogether. 
so there's a nice transition. Once those plants establish, they're going to grow nice and fast because they're going to get the ideal uptake of nutrients, so it'll increase overall crop vigor, especially where plant stress is, is occurring, and it will increase overall growth, which means you get increased production of herbs. The second active ingredient we use is the biofungicide. The biofungicide is a bacteria called Bacillus subtilis. It colonizes the roots of the herbs and it's basically present with the plant throughout its life cycle. It suppresses damping off crown rot and root rot caused by the fungal pathogens Alternaria, Fusarium, Pythium, and Rhizoctonia. In fact, with having the biofungicide on the root system of your herbs, you can reduce the use of fungicide drenches by 50%. In some cases, you might be able to eliminate it. So the bottom line is if you can reduce your fungicide drench use, that will actually save you money on fungicide applications and the inconvenience of doing that. The bottom line is you end up reducing plant loss. So if you reduce plant loss, it increases the number of plants you have, which can increase your sales and profits. The third active ingredient is actually a combination of our biofungicide mycorrhizae, which is really nice because you can get the benefits of both organisms wrapped up in one growing media. Thank you.